is actually the, what the interior module. This Astronaut Peggy Whitson is showing me what no news crew has seen before. Inside the Axiom Space Engineering Building, a mock-up of a module for the first commercial space station. At 63, Whitson has spent more time in space than any other person in America. We go around the Earth about once every 90 minutes. The first female commander of the International Space Station, she's completed 10 spacewalks. And I see 3217. When we first met four years ago, she had retired from NASA. What's left for you? Hopefully space again. <laughs> I remember you distinctly said, I would really like to go back, but I'm not quite sure how. And now here you are. Yeah, no, luckily there's a way. Um, with the development of commercial space, there are lots of opportunities out there. Now she's taken her years of NASA experience to Axiom Space as director of human spaceflight. She'll now be the first female commander of a private space mission, Axiom Mission 2. You never really did want to retire. Not really, no. I love going into space. It's, uh, it's actually where I've always felt the most at home in terms of, you know, a job to do. And I'm actually pretty good at it, so that works out. In coordination with NASA, she'll lead a four-person team for the 10-day privately funded mission to the International Space Station. Their research in orbit will help Axiom build a more modern commercial space station that would replace the current one. It's pretty exciting to be a part of that. Liftoff is scheduled for Sunday on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Whitson's advice, keep pushing your boundaries. Are you still challenging yourself? Absolutely, absolutely. A little out of your comfort zone? Yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. I think that's one of the biggest messages uh, for success is to challenge yourself to not just do what you know you can because you're capable of more than you know. Kate Snow, NBC News, Houston. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.